The Department of Basic Education and its partners held the 5th National Schools Mood Court competition from the 8th to the 9th of October 2015. It immediately shows that Carl Williams is, is ready to face any ridiculing or... Learners from grade 10 to 11 were invited to the University of Pretoria, entering as a team of two arguing as both applicants and respondents to a fictional constitutional court case issue. This year's case issue was a hard-hitting debate on the intricate constitutional matters around sexual orientation. The hypothetical problem statement was aimed at educating learners and raising awareness on the lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender and intersex rights. It is invalid in terms of the constitution. So such argument mentioned by my then colleague, I say to this court, it must legally as invalid. It doesn't exist in terms of the supremacy of the constitution or my justices. My justices, as you justices know, with every right comes responsibility. Section 15, subsection 1 of the constitution states that everyone has the right to freedom of conscience, religion, belief, thoughts and opinion. The two winning teams from the preliminary rounds had an opportunity to present their case before a panel of judges at the Constitutional Court. In his official opening of the occasion, the Deputy Minister for Basic Education, Mr. Enver Surti, reflected on the 2015 problem statement, which focused on the sexual orientation. No topic is too hard to debate. One has to be persuasive, one must be open-minded, one must recognize the rights and the dignities of all people, and that is why human dignity, together with equality and freedom, underpin our constitution. Those are the three important values. And human dignity, in particular, is the overarching value that permeates all rights in the constitution. Since its inception in 2011, the National Schools Moot Competition has managed to explore various sections of the Bill of Rights such as equality, freedom of expression and human dignity. The competition plays a pivotal role in providing learners with insightful knowledge on human rights issues and the Constitution in order to become accountable and responsible future citizens. It is important that young people are provided with opportunities to engage in the stimulation of legal processes that impact on the constitution and related human rights issues. It is for this reason that a team of eight of the learners ranging from rural to former Model C schools took to The Hague in the Netherlands as representatives of South Africa to partake in the International Schools Moot Court competition. The department is proud of the achievement of Team SA as winners of the 2015 International Moot Court Competition at The Hague and would like to express our appreciation to all the partners involved in this success. <laughs>